Hey YouTube, it's me, Empress E. I'm back with another one. This is for Aries. Can't let go by on by Anthony Hamilton. I feel like somebody feel like they can't let go of y'all, Aries. Or y'all can't let go of somebody, yeah. Love to begin for somebody. Somebody didn't got some wisdom or some insight on something. They ready for a change. Let me get some more on this. But this is just saying be patient. Uh, this person is trying to be patient. I feel like this is a loyal heart to somebody that's looking to a, a family dynamic. This person is uh using their intuition. We got five and six. They're using that wisdom to uh Open up that third eye, see things for what they really is, for this love to begin. Or this is just telling you to use your intuition and high wisdom when it comes down to this fun family dynamic for this love to begin. Okay? Don't suffer in silence. Speak your truth. Let your passion ignite, but still have hope for this situation. So you guys could be suffering in silence. Got some insight and wisdom on this love. Y'all feel like y'all can't let go from. But I feel like this is somebody that can't let go of y'all. That passion that ignited that high heart chakra that open. This person want a new beginning because it's 11 out here. This is a spiritual awakening. This person is getting some type of incitement. We got help. I will honor the uh, physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So, uh, check in about your health. You know what I'm saying? Focus on your health. Because you guys are manifesting. Imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspects of my mind. Love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Okay? So, y'all manifesting this love. But y'all need not to suffer in silence and speak y'all truth on what it is that y'all want. For this healthy relationship. But y'all need to be patient with y'all self. You know what I'm saying? Don't blame nobody. Or don't have doubt and fear when it comes down to this connection. You guys are healing from this overthinking or y'all need to heal from this overthinking when it come down to this love because y'all manifesting y'all need to put them actions to uh put them thoughts to actions and nourish the creative aspects of y'all mind because y'all lining things up to put y'all in a more brighter position to shine even bright but y'all don't need to suffer and silence use y'all intuition when it come down to this uh this love interest. You know what I'm saying? And don't be all up in your head about it. Because somebody is ready to learn something new. You know what I'm saying? And this person want to win at all costs. Y'all got a queen of swords here. That's indecisive. This could be y'all in this queen of swords energy. And y'all indecisive about this. But judgment has been called on it. Maybe somebody deceived y'all. And y'all moving different and different, and y'all focusing on something new. Or uh, y'all want uh, something new to come out of this relationship that y'all in. If y'all in a relationship. If y'all not in a relationship, y'all looking for something new. Receiving what you need. Progression. Arriving. Moving on. Closure issues. Okay? So y'all manifesting what y'all need. You know what I'm saying? Y'all manifesting what y'all need. And this progression is coming. At least the M, okay? Y'all focus on that money. Y'all want to get at least a million around this motherfucker. Okay, we got soulmate, a soul connection, partnership, agreement, a soul contract, and then, okay, we got lightning, sudden changes, shocking news, uh, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. With this soulmate connection, this partnership, this agreement, this soul contract, but then we got the snake, competition, 
enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder for the other woman. Okay. Okay, so it's somebody involved in this relationship and they watching, stalking, and looking. So that's probably why it's like, don't suffer in silence. Speak your truth. Use your intuition and your wisdom when it come down to this love. You know what I'm saying? Receive what you need and move on because this soulmate is dealing with a snake. That's why they all up in their head or you dealing with a sneaky ass soulmate which got you all up in your thoughts about this love but you don't need to suffer in silence. Sexual arts. Uh -huh. This person been putting it on you. Reason why you want this love to begin. And they could be doing some type of sex, sex magic. And we got 22 and 33. So this is just telling you to have faith as you heal. Oh, shit. I got the, uh, let the dog in. Okay, sorry about that, Aries. I had to let the dog in because they mowing the lawn, but... Without me, uh, Fantasia's on. So this part, this person see you healing and they want to know where would you be without them? This is a toxic ass person or you level this person up and this person is just out doing them. They dealing with a deceitful ass person that's connected to them. This person is connected to Another energy, that's why you need to use your intuition and not be suffering in silence when it comes down to this individual. Real talk. Let's get some ratchets on here. You could be dealing with somebody with green eyes, but it's not the right time because you both are ascending. It ain't nothing to cut a bitch off, okay? That's how y'all feeling right now, Aries. But there's a mutual attraction here, and this is just telling you to go. Go for what you know, but remain optimistic because you already know what's going on with this situation. Don't dim your light to fit in, Aries. Tell them what you really like. You could have dealt with a miscarriage. This person wants them and you too. They waiting for you to make the first move, Aries. Somebody dates not adding up. So maybe this is this other person that's connected to this person that you connected to. It's saying smile, smile more, frown less. Cause this nigga is crazy. So y'all dealing with a crazy motherfucker in a situation ship. Okay? And it looked like y'all done got rid of that situation ship because it was a done daughter, baby. Cause y'all was motherfucking frustrated with it. And you guys are ready to commit or y'all ready for somebody that's going to commit to y'all. And we got a J here. Okay. So that's what's up, Aries. And we had a J under that J was a tarot card reader. So somebody named J probably went to go see a tarot card reader. Or uh, somebody that you connected to when they seen a tarot card reader to get a reading on your ass. But this is just saying, don't suffer in silence. Speak your truth when it comes down to this love because your passion is ignited. You need to continue to manifest on your goals and continue to move the fuck forward because there are going to be some sudden change in this personal, you got this, this soulmate you got, or this current soulmate that you have and all this sexual chemistry with. But this is just saying have faith because there is some competition it's another woman looking over your shoulder you know and they seeing you and you feeling that energy 
which is making you feel bound and all up in your head when it come down to this love okay so unbound yourself aries and you guys enjoy the rest of your day if you like this reading like share and subscribe to the channel i'm empress Eda, intuitive messenger thank you guys for sharing space with me